Okay, what we have here is your textbook buck converter. The buck converter takes in about 24 volts, which could come out of a solar panel, and it outputs about 19 volts. Um, a standard buck converter, textbook buck converter is shown here. We have your solar cell, PWM switch, commutating diode, inductor, filter capacitor, and load resistance. So, uh, just as in the book, we have a linear supply mimicking a solar cell. It's outputting 24 volts. We have a 2N3055 type transistor acting as the PWM switch. The PWMs are coming out of a function generator, shown here. I'm showing the PWM waveform over here. I've adjusted it so that the output of the buck converter is 19 volts. Moving along, this is a commutating diode. This diode I put in here just in case I uh, exceed the VEB of the transistor, not to blow it out. I used half of a one-to-one -one transformer uh, to act as my inductor. I believe it's about 100 microhenries uh, inductance. And here is my filter capacitor. It's about 2200 microfarads. That's an arbitrary value. I chose whatever I had and a 1k load resistor. So there you have it. Buck converter, 24 volts in, 19 volts out.